streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. Vernon County Sheriff Roy Torgerson is stressing the importance of child passenger safety after a head-on crash in the town of Wheatland Friday. In a release this morning, the sheriff says two cars collided on South Warman Road, just south of State Highway 82. A 60-year-old male was driving to the left of center when he hit an oncoming car with a three-year-old passenger. According to Torgerson, the three-year-old was in a properly sized, fitted, and installed child restraint and suffered only minor injuries because of that. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration child safety seats can reduce fatal injury by 71% for infants under a year old and by 54% for toddlers one to four years old in passenger cars. All right, as we start your day, <clears throat> as we start your day, excuse me, you're looking at today mostly sunny skies, and as we get deeper into the afternoon, we'll turn it to partly cloudy. And for the evening hours, look for a slight chance of showers and storms working in the forecast, and that's about a 30% chance. We'll go in the overnight, and that turns into a 40% chance where you'll see heavy rainfall north of uh, I-94, <clears throat> and then eventually working down into the central zone. Here's a look at what's happening now. It's a stationary front well to our north, but that'll turn into a, a cold front as we get into the evening hours. We have the mostly sunny skies, but tomorrow scattered showers and storms, and we're looking at about an 80% chance for rainfall for tomorrow. That'll go throughout the day. The radar is pretty dry right now, but if you take a look here, we get right into the current temperatures for you. 70s widespread, and we also get a look here at the dew points. Dew points are in the middle 60s to the low 60s right now, and of course, planning your day looks pretty good for areas from uh, areas by La Crosse. And how about this? The Eau Claire doing pretty nice. The rainfall has been pushed a little bit later. Back to you. Thank you, Art. Vice President Kamala Harris has raised nearly $50 million since announcing she would seek the Democratic presidential nomination. That, of course, follows President Biden's monumental decision Sunday to no longer seek re-election after weeks of mounting pressure following his disastrous debate performance. Nicole Skanga reports from Washington, D.C. Vice President Kamala Harris made her first public appearance at the White House since announcing she would enter the race for the Democratic presidential nomination. And I wanted to say a few words about our president. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched. A growing list of Democrats have thrown their weight behind Harris. She has been a strong leader on the national stage. Um, she is someone that's going to be a unique um, candidate when she goes up against Donald Trump. It comes after President Biden made the momentous decision Sunday not to seek re-election. In a letter posted online, he wrote, it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Harris can't officially become the nominee until more than 4,600 Democratic National Convention delegates have their say. An open convention is still possible next month if there are challengers. A lot of people uh, would like to see a mini primary. That's the process. To find out if you have the strongest candidate, whether it be Kamala or whoever else. On CBS Mornings, independent Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia called for other candidates to emerge, but ruled out running himself. Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson questioned the legality of Democrats switching candidates. It would be wrong and I think unlawful in, in accordance to some of these states' rules for a handful of people to go in a back room and switch it out because they're, they don't like the candidate any longer. Former President Trump said Biden was not fit to serve from the very beginning. Harris's campaign says it took in nearly $50 million from grassroots supporters Sunday. That's the biggest fundraising total for any candidate this year. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Washington. Andy Bashir, the Democratic governor of Red State, Kentucky, also endorsed Harris today and said he would consider being her running mate. The head of the Secret Service, meanwhile, called to Capitol Hill this morning to answer questions about the attempted assassination on former President Donald Trump. The House Oversight Committee subpoenaed Director Kimberly Cheadle after the attack. Following widespread criticism, the agency did not properly prepare for Trump's rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Some lawmakers have called for her to resign. Cheadle said in her opening testimony the assassination attempt is the most significant operational failure at the Secret Service in decades. She then refused to provide detailed information about what happened because of ongoing investigations. 
The Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. As a director of the United States Secret Service, I take full responsibility for any security lapse. Day after President Trump Several of the committee members became frustrated with Cheadle for not sharing more about what happened and what went wrong. A female U.S. Navy pilot is flying an F-A-18 Super Hornet from the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower has become the first woman, American woman that is, to score a victory in air-to-air -air combat. The unnamed pilot, part of Strike Fighter Squadron 32, shot down a Houthi attack drone in the Red Sea area. This achievement comes 30 years after Lieutenant Lieutenant Kara Holtgreen became the Navy's first carrier-based female fighter pilot. The squadron has fired over 20 air-to-air -air missiles against Houthi drones during nearly 1,500 combat missions, countering attacks on civilian ships by the Iran-backed rebel group. And LeBron James will be leading Team USA at the Paris 2024 Olympics opening ceremony. The basketball star has been chosen as the male flag bearer. In a statement, James said he's proud to be part of this important moment that can bring the whole world together. This is James' fourth Olympics. He previously won gold at the 2008 Beijing Games and the 2012 London Games. Meanwhile, the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee will announce the female flag bearer on Tuesday. The opening ceremony is scheduled for Friday. Friday. Coming up, Delta Airlines continues to grapple with the aftermath of Friday's historic IT outage. We'll tell you how the disruptions are still affecting flights today, what the airline is offering affected passengers, and how the government plans to respond after the break. driveway or parking lot? Call North Central Paving for all your asphalt needs. We specialize in paving, seal coating, repairs, crack filling, and new installation. Call North Central Paving today. They don't clock out at 5 or care if it's the weekend. That means we keep working too. So when Eric Hovde says that farmers don't work hard, that pisses me off. Think of farming. Look at the old physical toil that it would take on your body. Now you're dr largely driving around a tractor. A California banker criticizing Wisconsin farmers for not working hard? We know what that is. Eric Hovde, what the hell's wrong with this guy? I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. When you're injured in an accident, one mistake could cost you a lot of money. Nobody knows bikers and the law like Hupy and Abraham. They know how to get you all the money that you deserve. It costs nothing for you to contact Hupy and Abraham, and they will never take a fee unless they win your case. They got me way more than I thought I would get. Hupy and Abraham mean business. Call Hupy and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Your home, a place of comfort and safety, could be trying to tell you something. Interior cracks, sloping floors, hard to open doors and windows are all signals of foundation failure that you can't ignore. At American Waterworks, we use modern techniques and warranted solutions to restore your peace of mind in your home. After all, your home's foundation issues won't get better with time, but it will with our proven solutions. Choose confidence, choose reliability, choose American Waterworks. Hey, it's Reed. This is Chelsea. Okay, Reed, have you heard of the nine-minute theory in terms of parenting? I'm not. The nine minutes in a child's day are most impactful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I, can I, when they wake up and when they go to bed? The three minutes um, after they wake up, the three minutes before they go to bed, and... and the three minutes when they come home from school. Okay. So just taking those moments not to have your phone out, be totally immersed in what they're talking about, what they're doing. Is your gravel or dirt driveway migrating into your yard? Then it's time to call North Central Paving. Specializing in paving, seal coating, repairs, crack filling, and new installations, North Central Paving can handle all your asphalt needs. Call 608-781-4423 today to get your free estimate.
Welcome back. The major IT outage Friday has disrupted thousands of flights since then and counting. Delta Airlines CEO apologized and says the carrier is now offering bonus sky miles and travel vouchers for passengers who've been impacted. A company source says Delta anticipates more cancellations today. The airline also hopes to kick off the week with a smooth start. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says his agency will enforce passenger protections for Delta customers. Twisters, the sequel film to 1996's Singular Twister, spun its way to the top of the weekend box office, pulling in more than $80 million domestically. The two family-friendly animated sequels, Despicable Me 4 and Inside Out 2, were second and third, earning more than $36 million combined. And we're still a few months away from the holiday season, but already coffee creamer brand International Delight is announcing its holiday flavors. And this year, they'll feature images from the iconic Home Alone films. Some of the flavors include frosted sugar cookie, peppermint mocha, and hot chocolate marshmallow. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is coming up next. Chart your career with a welding position at Chart Industries. Do you have a year or more of welding experience? Starting wages up to $35 per hour. We have the job for you. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. These were my great grandpappy's glasses. And now they're yours, son. Why can't I just get my own? No, oh, these have at least a few hundred years left in them. I think the kid needs his own. Get two pairs of glasses and a free eye exam for $79, all same day. Yeah, I want my own. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. Improving your home, improving your life with new entry doors. Few things in your home get the constant use of the entry door. Older entry doors are often hard to open, hard to close, drafty, cold, ugly, insecure, or all of these things, a source of daily misery. Correctly installed entry doors provide a safety and security for your family. They are easy to operate, provide comfort, and say welcome to family and friends. Call or visit the board store for a prompt free estimate. Get more for less today and every day. The board store. Chart your career with a welding position at Chart Industries. Do you have a year or more of welding experience? Starting wages up to $35 per hour. We have the job for you. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. You earn trust by making a commitment and sticking to it. By telling the heartwarming stories with the same consistency and dedication as the difficult ones. And being there when needed, all day, every day. We work hard for this trust, not just because we love what we do, but because we, like you, expect more. We are News 8 Now. Welcome back. If you want to reduce your chances of dementia, you should put down the smartphone and take a nap. That's what one AI expert claims in a new book. Professor Mohammed Elsmarie says taking afternoon naps and doing brain training exercises keeps your mind sharp as you get older. He also argues that relying on smartphones keeps us from exercising our minds. COVID death rates in India were far higher than previous estimates. That is from a study by the University of Oxford. It found nearly 1.2 million people died in 2020 from the virus. That's one and a half times the number of deaths previously thought. Women, young people and low income people face the highest death rates. Another new study finds one in seven parents are worried their children aren't wearing properly fitting shoes. Experts say kids need the right sized footwear to support growth and prevent injuries. A University of Michigan report found the cost of buying new shoes often keeps parents from replacing their kids' old ones. Those were some of the day's top health headlines as we take a live look outside. Now from CityCam 8, an art is in next with a look at our forecast. quieter around here than it used to be. I'm Rebecca Cook. When I was growing up, this farm was bustling. Holsteins, hired hands, harvesting crops. But big corporations put family farms like mine out of business. 
And what has Derek Van Orden done? Nothing. Tax cuts for big ag, rising health care costs, undermining our democracy, extremism. We need real working people in Washington. And that's why I approve this message. Luther High School is a powerhouse in culture and fulfilling the needs of each student. We recognize the future needs of all students, whether it's a four-year college, trades, or a trade school. Our on-site industrial arts program offers advanced welding, advanced woodworking programs, and our Industry 4.0 classes allow stackable credits at technical colleges throughout Wisconsin. Luther High School, Christ-centered, encouraging and preparing students for life. Schedule your tour today. Go to lutherhigh.org. Mow, dig, haul, trench. The reliable Kubota BX Series subcompact tractor is highly capable. A smooth hydrostatic transmission makes for easy operation and versatile attachments that help you handle the job. The Kubota BX Series, rated number one in durability and owner experience. Talk to your Kubota dealer to schedule a demo. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. You can tell it's the dog days of Christmas. Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls puts a little snowman in your summer with the dog days of Christmas giveaway. Stuffing your stocking with a share of $20,000 cash. We're celebrating Christmas in the summertime with cash drawings on August 31st. Pick up a free drawing entry today. Earn bonus entries playing slots or table games. And on Saturday, August 31st, you could unwrap some cold cash. It's the dog days of Christmas at Ho-Chunk Gaming. See the rewards club for details. Must be 21 or over to play. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. The News 8 Plus app, local news on your time. Well, good afternoon to you. If you're just joining us here, I'm going to recap real quick. Today we have mostly sunny skies. By the time we get into the latter portion of the afternoon and early evening, we'll turn it up to at least uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day and finish out that way. We have overnight showers and storms that'll come into fruition. They're about a 40% chance for us. Then we take it into tomorrow. We'll see more showers and storms uh, that'll pretty much working through the day and the nighttime. Current temperatures right now widespread in the 70s. You're going to see mid to upper 70s right about now. Current dew point are also in the 60s. In fact, it's pretty comfortable out there, but it is a little bit warm on your skin. Today and uh, tomorrow, we're going to see mostly sunny skies, eventually then scattered storm activity. And as I mentioned, it's about an 80% chance for tomorrow. The radar is fairly light right now, but you take a quick peek here. We'll get into at least the, uh, the early evening hours to the middle evening hours. You're looking at rainfall moving in for Ladysmith as well as Eau Claire out of uh, Minneapolis. And that continues to drop a little bit more southward. Red Wing is next, going to areas uh, right by Eau Claire and then continuing down to uh, uh, Marsfield. We'll see that continue to work into Winona, eventually into uh, Black River. That is around the 11 o'clock hour. Once we get in the overnight hour, say about 1 o'clock or so to 2 o'clock, you'll start to see this move over La Crosse. And the storms are looking a little bit less than what we saw earlier this morning. This was supposed to be at least a 2 to 3 hour wait over or lingering over uh, La Crosse, but it looks like it's moved on down to Decorah as well as portions by Prairie du Chien. We'll get into Tuesday in the 8 a.m. hour, and as I mentioned before, it'll be an 80% chance of rainfall starting with the 215 hour. You'll see uh, that rainfall coming back to La Crosse as well as Mason City and areas right by uh, Preston. We'll continue that uh, for the better part of the uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock hour, and then it starts to spread a little southward. Barroqua looking pretty decent for rainfall, and we'll see that get into areas right by Prairie du Chien as well as Boscobel. Looks like it's pretty much done for the nighttime all the way up in uh, areas by Eau Claire and Ladysmith. Here's a look uh, in the upper levels here, the rainfall that's going to come in to fruition here yet again. You'll get a uh, cutoff low associated with that. It's going to track all the storm activity a little bit more to our east as we finish out the day and get into the overnight for tomorrow. Rainfall we're expecting is pretty not, no, I should say pretty good. You get all the way up to uh, Ladysmith, that's one inch to finish out the day. And you get into Tuesday by 5 a.m., you're looking at conditions to be at least a half an inch or so. Viroco was showing two inches today, but it looks to be a little bit less right now. It looks like they'll probably get up to near one inch of rainfall in La Crosse will probably get up to about a half an inch. They've improved a little bit. Eau Claire will see at least a quarter of an inch, but by the time we finish out, it looks to be 1.5 inches up in Ladysmith, 
uh, La Crosse will be about one inch, and of course areas right by uh, Viroqua at 1.5 inches. River levels looking good. Even McGregor is going to be following suit as we go deeper into the week. In fact, your zone forecast looking pretty decent as well. We're going to be getting uh, positions like this, uh, 80s mostly, all the way across the board. You'll see some upper 70s and some 80s listed here. Again, uh, those 80s continue all the way up to the north zone again. And as you take a look here, and we go into your next eight days, you're looking at 83 to 79 for tomorrow. Mild sunshine to finish out the work week into your weekend and rainfall chances come back next week. All right, Art, thank you. Still to come, a wedding dress mystery in central Iowa. Why this beautiful gown was found in a ditch and one woman's mission to reunite it with its rightful owner. The 50th anniversary mattress sale is going on now at Home Sleep Express. Get 10% off sale prices and pay no interest for one year on Luxuria and Thomas Cole Sleep when you spend $9.99 or more, plus free white glove delivery during the 50th anniversary mattress sale at Home Sleep Express. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Enhance your floors with Great Lakes Vinyl Plank. It's waterproof, easy to install, and features an attach pad for added comfort. Legends Vinyl Plank is $279 per square foot after rebate. Get cleaner clothes and softer skin with Morton Water Softeners. Get this 27,000 grain water softener for $388.88 after 11% rebate at Menards. America's number one home improvement retailer for customer satisfaction. Save big money at Menards. The pain level was over 10. There's days where I just sat and cried and, and asked the good Lord to take me. And my doctor recommended that I go to Good Feet and try the arch supports. And I took about three, four steps, turned around and went and sat back down and started to cry. It was the first time that I had no pain. I'm not an actor. I want people to know my testimony. I want them to know what arch supports can do from Good Feet. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. A1 Vacuum Sales and Service has been part of the La Crosse area for 75 years. And so we thank you for that opportunity and for supporting the area's largest vacuum store for all these years. Our mission is to provide great service and offer quality products that stand the test of time. And we will continue to be part of this wonderful area we call home. Leave a legacy that isn't plastic in a landfill and support the store that supports you. Thank you for your business. A1 Vacuum. Our business is big. Get progressive rug savings right now at All Homeworld Rugs. The more you buy, the more you save on your total rug purchase of $199 or more. Get up to $500 off sale prices. Every style is on sale now at up to 50% off regular prices. The progressive rug sale, now at Homeworld Rugs. Download the News 8000 app today. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. A woman from Iowa made an unusual discovery last month while driving with her husband. She spotted a wedding dress lying on the side of the road in Greene County. Now she's trying to track down the owner. Hopefully Jacobson has the story. June 12th was the day that we found it on the side of the road. Just north of Rippey on Highway 144. All this fluff was just fluffing around in the wind. <laughs> Something in the grass caught Denise Gannon's eye. We had to go get parts one day in the Perry and we drove on 144 diagonal and here was this on the side of the road. A wedding dress and in I a ditch a now hanging on her clothesline. It's an Alfred Angelo is the style and it's a size 18W. It is a very pretty dress. For the past month, Gannon has been trying to reunite the dress with the bride. Really thought that if I put it on Facebook, somebody would notice it and want it, but nothing, nothing. The dress was found next to this Bliss Bridal dress bag. So Gannon called the Mason City shop. They don't sell that brand, so they don't think they sold, they didn't sell the dress. How the dress ended up in a ditch is a mystery. Gannon says everybody has a theory. I just don't know if somebody was hauling or moving and it blew out of their vehicle. Some people think the bride changed her mind. I think the dress has already been worn, so I don't think she changed her mind. Others believe it has something to do with the Greenfield tornado, but Gannon says those dates don't add up. It had not been there. I do not believe it has anything to do with Greenfield. Gannon says if she can't find the owner in the next couple of weeks, she'll donate it. But remembering her time as a bride 45 years ago, she feels the person who owns this dress. Hopefully somebody will just find it and say, hey, that's my dress. Would love nothing more than to find it. 
And again, Gannon is hoping someone will come forward and claim the dress before she donates it. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we return. Hi, my name is Tom, and this is Max White Water Conditioning Tip number 726. Too much iron in your water? This can cause yellow, red, and brown stains on dishes, laundry, and plumbing fixtures. Call us today at 608-781-8088. After an accident, you have an important opportunity to go after all the money you may be entitled to. When it comes to motorcycle representation for accidents, only one firm comes to mind, Hupi and Abraham. They're very well known for handling motorcycle cases. We knew that we could trust them. They got me way more than I thought I would get. Bikers choose Hupi and Abraham because of the reputation of getting the best results of any other law firm. Call Hupi and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Hi, I'm Brody from Great River Harley-Davidson. If you haven't been in this year, consider this your invitation to stop by. Adam Sandoval's Great American Convoy will be riding into Great River Thursday, July 25th from 3 to 5, raising money for the Wounded Warrior Project. Meet Adam Sandoval, donate to the Wounded Warriors, and ride with the convoy. Whether it's your first time on a bike or you've been riding for years, I want to invite you to stop into Great River Harley-Davidson. It just keeps getting worse. Well, that was too close. It really ruined everything. This was it? I understand. The effects of water can be surprising. Mold feeding on moisture in your crawl space, flooded basements, uneven concrete, and shifting foundations. But it's OK. We got it. The effects of water can be surprising, but you can. Put water back in its place with a free inspection from Innovative Basement Authority. For a limited time, get $500 off any repairs when you call or go online today. Hi, my name is Levi, and this is Maxwell White Water Conditioning Tip 68. Acidic water harms pipes and appliances. If you notice corrosion or metallic taste, give us a call today at 608-781-8088. The First Warren Weather App. Download it today. All right, we're looking at Eau Claire. Possibility of showers, a 20% chance, so it's a slight chance for the day. You'll take it over to La Crosse. You'll see the same with partly cloudy skies, the mostly sunny conditions today, and then we'll uh, load up the clouds again in the overnight hours with storms on the way. You're looking at 83 today, 79 tomorrow, and mild to warm conditions to finish out the rest of the work week, and even hotter once you get into Sunday and Monday. All right, Art, thank you, and thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. We'll see you back here tonight.